Sub-element T0. Safety. Three exam questions, three groups. Which of the following is a safety hazard of a 12-volt storage battery? Shorting the terminals can cause burns, fire, or an explosion. What health hazard is presented by electrical current flowing through the body? All these choices are correct. In the United States, what circuit does black wire insulation indicate in a three-wire, 120-volt cable? Hot. What is the purpose of a fuse in an electrical circuit? To remove power in case of overload. Why should a 5-ampere fuse never be replaced with a 20-ampere fuse? Excessive current could cause a fire. What is a good way to guard against electrical shock at your station? All these choices are correct. Where should a lightning arrestor be installed in a coaxial feed line? On a grounded panel near where feed lines enter the building. Where should a fuse or circuit breaker be installed in a 120-volt AC power circuit? In series with the hot conductor only. What should be done to all external ground rods or earth connections? Bond them together with heavy wire or conductive strap. What hazard is caused by charging or discharging a battery too quickly? Overheating or outgassing. What hazard exists in a power supply immediately after turning it off? Charge stored in filter capacitors. Which of the following precautions should be taken when measuring high voltages with a voltmeter? Ensure that the voltmeter and leads are rated for use at the voltages to be measured. Which of the following is good practice when installing ground wires on a tower for lightning protection? Ensure that connections are short and direct. What is required when climbing an antenna tower? All these choices are correct. Under what circumstances is it safe to climb a tower without a helper or observer? Never. Which of the following is an important safety precaution to observe when putting up an antenna tower? Look for and stay clear of any overhead electrical wires. What is the purpose of a safety wire through a turnbuckle used to tension guy lines? Prevent loosening of the turnbuckle from vibration. What is the minimum safe distance from a power line to allow when installing an antenna? Enough so that if the antenna falls, no part of it can come closer than 10 feet to the power wires. Which of the following is an important safety rule to remember when using a crank-up tower? This type of tower must not be climbed unless it is retracted or mechanical safety locking devices have been installed. Which is a proper grounding method for a tower? Separate 8-foot ground rods for each tower leg bonded to the tower and each other. Why should you avoid attaching an antenna to a utility pole? The antenna could contact high-voltage power lines. Which of the following is true when installing grounding conductors used for lightning protection? Sharp bends must be avoided. Which of the following establishes grounding requirements for an amateur radio tower or antenna? Local electrical codes. What type of radiation are radio signals? Non-ionizing radiation. At which of the following frequencies does maximum permissible exposure have the lowest value? 50 MHz. How does the allowable power density for RF safety change if duty cycle changes from 100% to 50%? It increases by a factor of 2. What factors affect the RF exposure of people near an amateur station antenna? All these choices are correct. Why do exposure limits vary with frequency? The human body absorbs more RF energy at some frequencies than at others. Which of the following is an acceptable method to determine whether your station complies with FCC RF exposure regulations? All these choices are correct. What hazard is created by touching an antenna during a transmission? RF burn to skin. 
Which of the following actions can reduce exposure to RF radiation? Relocate antennas. How can you make sure your station stays in compliance with RF safety regulations? By reevaluating the station whenever an item in the transmitter or antenna system is changed. Why is duty cycle one of the factors used to determine safe RF radiation exposure levels? It affects the average exposure to radiation. What is the definition of duty cycle during the averaging time for RF exposure? The percentage of time that a transmitter is transmitting. How does RF radiation differ from ionizing radiation, radioactivity? RF radiation does not have sufficient energy to cause chemical changes in cells and damage DNA. Who is responsible for ensuring that no person is exposed to RF energy above the FCC exposure limits? The station licensee.